Welcome to another How To with Haas. Today we're going to learn how to use System Builder. System Builder is a tool for quickly setting up large complex systems. To start, click on New System Builder. Now we need to enter the water supply information. For this example, we will be using a static of 65, residual of 55, flowing 1800. Then we need to enter our hose allowance. For this project, we will be using an ordinary hazard group 2 occupancy. That gives us a hose allowance of 250. For this example, we will use a branch line elevation of 14 feet. Then we'll have our cross mains at 13 feet, and then our source at zero. This will be BOR. Now we need to enter the distance between branch lines, which is 12 feet. We will be using the standard pipe table. This will give us schedule 40 steel. Enter your job title. Click next. Now we have to enter in our pipe code data. We will start with code A. As you can see here, that's 53 feet, one inch. It's a starter piece, three foot, one inch. And then five sections of 10 foot pipe. That was inch and a half pipe. We enter that in here. Then our length, 53 feet, one inch. As you can see here, it's from the first flowing sprinkler to the second flowing sprinkler, and then from sprinkler to sprinkler. So it's 10 feet. Again, no fittings. Now we need pipe code C. That's from the last flowing sprinkler in the remote area to the end of the branch line. 51 feet, seven inches. Again, that's inch and a half pipe. Again, we don't put any fittings in. Now we need to enter in pipe code D. Since our remote area is not a perfect rectangle, this pipe has one more section of 10 foot pipe. For a total of 63 feet, one inch. We will enter that in for D. Again, it's inch and a half, 63 feet, one inch, no fittings again. Now, we already have in pipes B and C for these distances. We need to figure out pipe code E. So that is a whole branch line from main to main. It's a total of 144 feet, 8 inches. Again, it's inch and a half pipe. And no fittings again. Now we enter in our branch line codes. Starts with A, then four sections of B, Then a section of C. Now we need to enter our second branch line, which will be D, then three sections 
of B, then one section of C. And then our final branch line code will be E. Now we need to put in our group codes. So we put in branch line code 1. Then we enter the number of times that pipe shows up. This branch line code shows up twice. Next, we have branch line code 2, and that appears once. Then our final branch line code, 3, and it appears 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Now we need to come in and enter our, our cross main information as well as our riser nipple. Our cross main on the left side is four inch diameter. We'll keep our riser nipple the size of the branch line, which is inch and a half. And then we enter the elbow for the top of the riser nipple. Now we need to do the right side. That's two and a half inch pipe. Again, we'll keep the riser nipple at inch and a half and an elbow for the top of the riser nipple. Now all our data is entered. You can see here, our data entry shows up on the next page. And now you can see our system matches exactly to the drawing. Now save the project. As you can see here, the data entry field is filled out. We're going to rename our source, BOR. Now we're going to change the node tags to match the drawing. Since this is a sprinkler, it's S1. And we need to enter the K factor. The easiest way to do this is replace then we're going to use 5.6 for our k factor and replace all the fields going forward our remote area is five sprinklers wide Now we're at the other end of our branch line. We need to remove the K factor and start a new branch line. If you look over at the pipe data entry field, you can see the node tags are correcting as I change them over in the node tag column.
And now we need another node for the top of the riser, TOR. And now we need to add pipes to connect the source to the system. This is done by clicking where you want to add the pipe and hitting F2. We need to verify the last node that connects to the top of the riser and the length of that pipe. A13, 2 foot, 3 inches. Now we enter A13 to TOR, 2 feet, 3 inches, with an elbow, and this piece will be 4 inches, just like the main. Now we go TOR to BOR with an elevation difference of 13 feet, so that's the length of the pipe, an alarm check valve, and a gate valve. And again, we're staying with 4 inches. As you can see here, we have a mixture of Schedule 40 and Schedule 10 but everything is entered in Schedule 40. We can go back and correct that by finding the top of where the four inch pipe starts. Click Replace, and then B4. The B denotes Schedule 10 in our pipe table data. Then we scroll down and do the same for the two and a half inch pipe. And now everything's entered and we can calculate. Whoops, we forgot to put in an elevation for TOR. Click edit to go back to the previous screen. Scroll down, find TOR, 13 feet. And that should correct our issue. Click Calculate. Now we have no errors. Here's the data for our system. Our required pressure and our available pressure. All our sprinklers and pipes. Friction loss calculations. and our system layout. Thank you for joining me for another how-to with Haas. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.